everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Gemma Ann Barnes and I'm a vocal coach and singing teacher. In today's video, I'm going to share my tips for your singing self-tapes. We're going to go through the process from start to finish using the four P's. Prepare, perform, perfect, prescend. Now this is the big one because not only do you need to prepare your audition and the singing in itself, but you also need to prepare your audition studio, your audition room. Now first thing you need to do, most important thing, is read your audition casting breakdown. So read exactly what you need to do, how you need to do it, when it needs to be done by, how long you've got to do it, and how it needs to be sent, so that you know 100% what exactly you're preparing for. Now let's create our home studio. The first thing you need to do is look for a clear blank background space. So something like this clear, a clear neutral wall. Try not to have anything too distracting on the wall. Obviously, it doesn't need to be completely bare if you don't have that space. Or alternatively, you can think of either using a sheet behind you or purchasing some sort of professional camera background. But don't go crazy. Just try and find as clear a space as possible for you as a background that doesn't distract too much from you. Now you need to decide what device you're using, so whether you're going to use your phone or whether you're going to use a camera, I would recommend using a tripod for them though, rather than balancing them on top of books and whatever else to try and get it at your eye line. Use a tripod, you can adjust the height of the tripod and it holds it still and stable, so you haven't got to worry about that. Now whilst we're talking about the visual, let's look at whether you can be seen, are you well lit? Again, this isn't a must, but I would definitely think about getting some form of lighting. So whether it's a small ring light or whether you get some sort of professional photography light, it's up to you how much money you kind of want to spend on these things. But I would really consider getting some good lighting because you don't always have the daylight or you might not always be by the window. It's not always bright outside and sometimes levels of light do change. Same with your indoor lighting. You don't want to be balancing lamps and things, aiming, trying to aim them towards you. It's easier if you've got a specific light that is going to be nice and bright on your face and show you clearly. Step four is sound. What device are you using to play your music, your backing track, your piano track? And where in relation to you and the recording device are you going to put it? Now I'd recommend standing about four to six feet back from your recording device, from your camera, from your phone, so that the sound, your voice is picked up, but it's not distorted because you're too close. You also get a great upper body shot being that far away. I would put your speaker or the device that is playing your music the same distance from you and the camera. So it's kind of creating like a triangle sort of shape. Try that out, do a few different sound checks to see what balance is best for you. If you've got a microphone that you can attach to your phone or your camera, then great, use it. But if not, don't stress, iPhones and all the updated phones now have great microphones built within them. So you've prepared your studio, now you just want to check with your housemates or your neighbours maybe, make sure that when you're self-taping there's not going to be any noisy distractions. So just go around and say you're filming a self-tape between 3 and 4 this afternoon, I just wanted to check you haven't got any builders coming in to do some work, just to make sure that you don't have any distracting background noise as soon as you start your self-tape. And the final thing to prepare, is you, which you should be used to doing anyway because this is no different to an in-person audition. So you need to prepare how you're gonna look, what you're gonna wear, what you're gonna sing, prepare your music, and make sure you warm your voice up and get yourself ready to nail that audition. Preparation, done. It's audition time. Your studio's prepped, you're prepped, so go for it. Remember if you're filming on a phone to film it in landscape and make sure you keep your eye line towards the camera. You can look at the camera lens slightly above or slightly to the side but keep it in the direction of the camera. I'd recommend doing a slate at the beginning of your tape. So say your name, your agent if you have one and the song or songs that you're going to be singing before you go into your song. 
do two to three takes of your songs. You've got the opportunity here to do more than one version or more than one take. So if the first one didn't go perfectly, you have got the opportunity to do it again. A bonus that you don't have in a live audition. But I would limit yourself. Don't go doing 20,000 different takes because one, you're gonna burn yourself out and lose your spark. And two, you're gonna have so many similar tapes to choose from that it's gonna be really hard when we come round to the next step, perfecting your tape. It's editing time. So get into your comfies and watch your self tapes back. Choose your favorite take and then edit it using the program of your choice. I like iMovies or InShot, but any program you like to use is gonna be great. So just crop off the beginning, crop off the end so you've got a nice clipped start to finish video. For a professional touch, I would add a text slate along the bottom whilst you're saying your slate, and then save it as an MP4, high resolution if you can. Done. Now go back to your audition breakdown email and double check how they want it sent and send it that way. They might ask for you to upload it unlisted to YouTube and send them the link. They might ask for it via Dropbox or by WeTransfer. Never assume, always double check how they want it sent and send it exactly that way. Congratulations, you have completed a fantastic self-tape audition. I hope this video has been helpful and I wish you the best of luck with your self-tape auditions. If you would like more singing videos and tips, then subscribe to my channel and remember, there are no limits to what you can achieve. Take care, I'll see you soon, bye.